Hey, hey, it's movie review time! Hey everybody and welcome back to another movie review with Kevin and Val. We've been sick all week. This is what we've been doing. <laughs> so, we're reviewing the movie Sinister. Sinister 2012 starring Ethan Hawke and um, Ethan Hawke and Juliet Rylance and um, it was uh, directed by Scott Derrickson and written by Scott Derrickson as well along with C. Robert Cargill. It's about a, um, a writer who whose career is kind of floundering. He was a true crime writer and uh, he caused mistakes, caused problems and so he's trying to pull his career back together by um, living in the house where a crime was committed and he didn't tell his family so and he's not well popular or not popular with the local police because his last big hit um, proved the police made a lot of mistakes so the police don't like know him. of him and do not like him. So with, with that set up, now he's in a house that uh, multiple murders had occurred. He finds some film in the attic, uh, eight millimeter film, and uh, from what I find out, it, they actually filmed it on eight millimeter film to give it that old creepy feel to it. And uh, to me, that was probably the creepiest part of the film. Yeah, I would say that you know, bringing that aspect into it. And the fact that, you know, you watch it once and then certain things happen and it makes him go back and watch it again. And it's different. It's just a little different. So, but I don't know if they did that on purpose or if it was just part of the, the spooky, ethereal thing with the movie. Because, yeah. Um, it, um, so, that's all we're going to say. I, I'd say saying anything else would give away plot. Yeah, there is a sequel coming out, or is there it already out? There is a sequel out? coming out, starring um, Officer So and So. Yes. So I wonder if they're going to give him a name. That was, I think is one of my uh, uh, trivia questions. So, um, but I don't remember. So, it was a good movie. It, it was very spooky. I know some people think it's the scariest thing they've seen, but personally, I did. I wasn't as impressed with this one as I was with movies like Insidious, and um, yeah, those to me were uh, creepier. But I love movies that are creepy instead of just big loud noise and and fast action that makes you jump. This this was more disturbing than creepy. Yeah. So that was the best part of it. Uh, it has one of those endings, however, that um, I had to scratch my head whether I liked it or not. I don't like endings where you you spend the whole um, oh, I'm not going to say that. I don't like m movies with bad endings. Let's just say that. You spend an entire two hours, um, you know, cheering somebody on and then have a bad ending. So, um, it, it has a, the ending. I, I don't see how it could have ended any other way. Knowing the story. Um, how the plot un unfolds. Yeah. But I still don't like those kind of endings. But that's just me and I'm selfish and I want the good guys to win and the bad guys to lose and that's something that nobody does anymore. That's Not why I like usually. watching old horror films. Yeah, yeah. So how many stars for this one? This one I would say four. Four out of five? Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would say four out of five as well. Um, it's, a, it's worth watching. I can't wait for the sequel to see what, what they do with it. Cha. So, there you go with another movie review. We hope you enjoyed the review. Remember, if you watch the movie, let us know what you think. And we will catch you on the next review. Bye!